Now let's see how we can create a shared VPC and we can create a host project in our Google Cloud. So one thing to remember here if you are using a personal project or the project without any organization here suppose if you see it is having no organization so the project inside no organization and if you try to create a shared VPC in it it will not allow you to create a shared VPC because it will need an organization so if I go here and we'll see the message shared VPC is only available for the project within an organization so I cannot create in this project so I already created an organization for me and I am having full access on that organization so here you could see the techcapture.com and from this organization I have multiple folders and projects so what I will do I will use these two projects and I have given the naming convention as a tt-h-dev it means I will use this as my host project and I will use this as my service project now how I can create or assign it as a host project and create a shared VPC so let me show you that so first I will go to this project and I already created a one VPC network in this project so this is a standard VPC network I have created so I have just given the name as a shared VPC as of now I am not shared it with any of the project I just created one shared VPC and I give a name as a shared VPC so now I will go to shared VPC section here and I have option here to set up a shared VPC so I will click on this and I am expecting some permissions issue here because I just want to show you what are the permissions required to perform this operation so if I do save and continue yeah so it is saying required compute dot organization enable xpn host permission for this project so I need this permission so either you can google this permission is assigned in any role or you can individually assign this permission to the custom service account so what I will do I know this permission is available in compute shared admin role so I will go to my organization so this role has to be given on the organization that one more thing you have to remember so I'll go to my organization okay so now what I will do here if you are going here you have to select in all you have to select an organization techdepter.com which is your root node of your google cloud and I'll go to IAM now so in IAM I'll find my ID so even though it is a full access organization admin still I need to assign this access explicitly so just remember that thing so I will assign compute vpc shared admin okay. compute shared vpc admin so this is a role name so I will assign this role which will allow me to interact or create or delete a shared VPC. Now I assign this role. I'll just retry this operation now. So earlier it was giving error. Let me retry. Okay. Now it allowed me to create that. And now let's see here. I have option here to subnet to share I will choose this one subnet compute subnet and I will continue and now service project we have to attach a service project so from here as I shown I want to use one project as my service project so this one I am using as my host project and this one I want to use as a service project so I will go to this project first And in this project, you should have your Compute Engine API enabled. So I'll go to Compute Engine and API would be enabled already. I worked on this project on Compute, so API would be enabled here. So API is enabled, else it will ask me to enable API. So now I'll just use this TT Dev project as a service project. And I'll click on Save. So else what I will do, I won't share anything now. I'll just create this shared vpc and host project and later i will attach a project now you could see this is not shared with any project and if i go to attach project so nothing is here now always remember this will be your host project now you could see this is your host project 
and attached projects are always your service project so i'll go to attach project now and now i will choose this project so here compute engine api should be enabled so if i try for this one it will give me an error if api is not enabled so suppose let's try to attach to this project okay so it is giving an error let's see what it says so compute engine api is not enabled for this project so that's what i said so i'll go to dev project and i'll try to attach this a dev project here api is already enabled now one more thing i want to show here so if i want to create a virtual machine in this project what are the available option i can see before sharing this vpc with this service project so now suppose i want to create virtual machine in us central one I'm not worried about any of the boot disk or anything. I'll directly go to the network section. And I'll see available networks here. So in network, I can see only default one for now. And here, I do not have any other option. Only the default network I have here. But suppose I'll attach this to the service project. I'll attach the service project to the host project. And we'll see what are the different option i'll see so i will share this single subnet and i will save this okay now this is my service project and this will be my host project now let me reload this page And we'll see what are the options available now once we shared our network to the other project so we'll go with us central one and i'll directly go to the networking again so we'll see what are the available option in networking now so we'll just click on this drop down now you could see here is new option network shared with me from host project tt-h dev-002 if I click on this so here I can select this subnet so it means I am creating virtual machine in this dev project but I am accessing the network which is created in this host project so it means this host project is sharing VPC network with other project so i can attach multiple project to this host project and we can simply create a vpc we'll see if it will give an error so vpc is being created uh, not vpc it's vm instance so vm is created and you could see the network is shared vpc so currently we are in a dev project this is not a host project this is service project but if i click on this uh, shared vpc it will redirect me to the host project because this is vpc created in the host project now you can see it is in the host project so as a standard practice will only networking team have access to this project all uh, related to a uh, networking firewalls will be maintained into this project and the compute vms will be maintained in the dev project that will be our service projects so that's it for a shared VPC. If you have any doubt related to shared VPC, just let me know and I'll try to answer that. So thank you for watching this video.